First hyper conjugation we have classified into the direct with respect to the direction of electron transfer some we are calling as positive and the other one we are calling as negative. When we have got positive hyper conjugation then this is uh, the electrons which are going to be involved. Let us say we are talking about the electrons which are present in the CH bond. These electrons will be pushed. They will be giving their electron density. So when such a kind of a bond is present which is giving its electron density to its hyperconjugated system we understand this is going to be plus H effect in the same lines as we have talked about the plus I effect that is uh, inductive effect and the plus M effect also we are saying sometimes that mesomeric effect or plus uh, R effect rarely we are saying. The same way when we, we have got electron withdrawing effect that can be the case at least when we are talking about some carbon chlorine bonds just like we have seen in methyl chloroform or will be seen in benzyl chlorides in the reverse hyperconjugation. So this carbon chlorine bond will be having the effect that if there is a hyperconjugated system present along with it this will be having a nature of pulling electron towards itself that electrons will be pulled towards this and this thing will be having the nature of electron will be pushed electron will be uh, given from this that is how these two positive hyperconjugation and negative hyperconjugation should be recognized from each other here we have an example of the positive hyperconjugation so uh, we are uh, saying if you have got some any of the alkyl group present usually we will be seeing this will be the alpha carbon hydrogen bonds which are mostly uh, being delocalized as the result of hyperconjugation and that can be happening into empty atomic orbital like p orbital it can be happening into singly occupied p orbital or it can be happening into antibonding molecular orbital we have got this kind of electron donating effect whenever present we are calling this as positive hyperconjugation effect here we have we are showing that you have got some carbocation and in this carbocation this empty orbital what we are having over here in this empty orbital electrons from this alpha carbon hydrogen bond these electrons we have shown these electrons from the alpha carbon hydrogen bonds are being delocalized into this orbital so with respect to this ch bond this is going to be our electron donating effect and this electron donating effect we are recognizing as plus h effect for this ch bonds which are present onto the alpha position of the respected respective systems like here we have got that positive charge where this delocalization is going to take place in the radicals or other kind of systems we can be having different kind of conjugated or hyperconjugated we should say more clearly hyperconjugated systems can be there and the ch bond is going to have electron donating effect now just like uh, we have seen uh, that uh, uh, plus H effect in the carbocation. We can see that, uh, like in fact, the, the same uh, example, uh, positive hyperconjugation we are seeing, and we have shown here when we we have got the case of the alkene. There also positive hyperconjugation is there. Alkyl benzene can also be having hyperconjugation, and uh, we we can uh, see here when the one compound one one structure or one species and undergoing hyperconjugation then how the next structure when we are writing we will be uh, using this kind of uh, sign which we have been using just in the in the uh, resonating structures so this alpha carbon hydrogen bonds are being delocalized into this empty orbital and when that is happening we will be losing this hydrogen as h plus this molecule will be having actually this hydrogen being lost and there will be double bond formation taking place here that is what is the case of positive hyperconjugation the another uh, exam this is basically the same example we have talked about the carbocation only but these other molecules are also known to have the alkyl alkenes and alkyl benzenes are also known to have the same kind of hyperconjugation positive hyperconjugation of plus h effect possible we have then negative hyperconjugation in this negative hyperconjugation we uh, need to have some group which will be having electron withdrawal tendency that's when you have got relatively quite polar bond where the ne more negative atom is present onto the terminal side like chlorine is carbon chlorine bond can be present even uh, carbon oxygen bond can be present carbon nitrogen bond can be present those kind of bonds can be having quite electron withdrawing abilities if there are suitably situated 
other systems, these electrons can be pulled by these kind of antibonding molecular orbitals. That is what is happening in this negative hyperconjugation. We also call this as sometimes reverse hyperconjugation and that is because uh, this is going to be operating in the reverse direction to what we was there in the usual case of the conjugation. And uh, this uh, we'll say it will be excited by the sigma bonded electrons of the alpha halo alkyl group. We can uh, see uh, one kind of system like just like we are calling about the we were saying in the normal conjugation alpha CH that is hydrogen bond was involved in the hyperconjugation. Here we can say alpha carbon halogen bond can be uh, involved in that same kind of uh, interaction, same kind of delocalization, and that can be nearby to the some alpha carbon hydrogen bonds present, it can be nearby to some pi bonding molecular orbital present or it can be even near to something where it can be non-bonding electron pair present there also it can be present. That can be also with some of the non-bonding electrons. Lone pair we could have said basically. Yeah, so uh, here we, we have got one example. The fluorine which is present that will be demanding electron from the carbon carbon will be having electron deficiency so the antibonding molecular orbital what we we say which will be basically more like the carbon that will be having quite electron deficiency so that empty antibonding molecular orbital can be pulling electron from this non-bonding electron pair and if that is happening this kind of first uh, well uh, that Lewis structure what we have drawn would be converting into the second kind of Lewis structure and that fluorine is being given off and this compound is converting into alkene. Interestingly this is the step number two what we have seen happening in the even CV mechanism when the alkyl fluorides are undergoing elimination. This is just one aspect of uh, negative hyperconjugation like there we can tell why the fluorine is going to leave and can it leave easily answer is uh, yes although it is going to be relatively poor leaving group but this uh, negative hyperconjugation or reverse hyperconjugation can be helping the carbon fluorine bond to be broken rather easily than otherwise what we could have anticipated Another example uh, for the negative hyperconjugation we can see that is coming from the alkenes. So that uh, pi bonded electrons can be going into the antibonding molecular orbitals where we have got the electron demanding group. So in alkene, if the alpha carbon is having at least one of the halogen atoms present, we can have this kind of situation possible. So say if this was the carbon atom and say this was the halogen atom over here if this was a chlorine over here the orbital what we have shown here is the sigma star antibonding molecular orbital basically the sigma star is empty and the electrons which were present over here in this carbon carbon double bond these electrons are being basically delocalized that chlorine is pulling that electron that electron withdrawing effect is considered as negative or reverse hyperconjugation minus H effect we can say the another example we have just seen in the previous slide that was with respect to the uh, valence bond uh, diagrams here we are trying to see with respect to the molecular orbital diagrams where this negatively charged carbon having in the electron present in sp3 hybrid orbitals this is being delocalized onto the that is again we can say this is carbon and this is chlorine and this kind of orbital is again going to be the sigma star antibonding molecular orbital there these electrons are being delocalized this electron withdrawing nature of this carbon fluorine sigma star orbital is considered as the reverse hyperconjugation or the negative hyperconjugation. 